Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial and by reading the title you saw that it's a trifold wall tutorial and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to do this exact layout. This is just four uh, horizontal card pockets and then a go through pocket and then an ID but I think I'm going to do mine where the ID is on this side or one of the flap sides and then I'll put like vertical card pockets here and then horizontal card pockets here. So I think that's the layout I will do and you know everything will obviously fit and just to show you what it looks like with stuff in it I'll put a ton of stuff in it so I will be back. So I just stuffed this wallet with some cards and then I just grabbed nine bills just to test it out and when I was testing this wallet itself has flaws so it is bulky because you know cards and stuff. But this wallet has flaws because these card pockets aren't all the way down, if you can tell by that. So, this is kind of interfering. I made this wallet a while ago, but, you know, obviously this tutorial is up, meaning that your wallets will close nicely. And it won't have the same problems that I did, even though this still does close nicely. Obviously, I just need some Velcro to keep it shut. But yeah, just showing you that it will close with money in it and all that. And again, the ID will be on the side, horizontal card pockets, and then vertical card pockets with the go-through hidden in the middle. So stay tuned to see how to make it. The first thing we're going to make is the inner billfold. And you're going to take two pieces of your billfold color and cut them to be nine inches long. And then you're going to layer them on top of each other until they're three, three fourth inches long. And then what I did is clear tape the seam since they barely overlapped. And then for the other side, I took the same length, uh, two pieces of nine inch tape that are gray, that is gray. And again, just layered it on top of each other until they're three and three fourth inches long. And then I took the other half strip of clear tape and clear tape the seam as well. Next, you're going to cut out two pieces of three and three fourth inch tape of what you want to be shown in between the card pockets on the inside. And I just like to use the pattern. And you don't necessarily have to place them in the exact spots I did, but I believe in these spots everything that's gray will be covered up with, by the card pockets and the ID and all that. So I just placed it around one and three fourths and then two and one fourth from the side. And yeah, they should be, this gray should be covered by the card pockets. So just do that. And I forgot to mention that you can cut slits at um, the three inch marks. So three, and then I cut a tiny little slit, if you can see that. And then three, and I cut a tiny little slit. And then I did the same thing on this side. And this just helps you fold it better, or at least get the wallet to know where to fold. And then now we can do the card pockets. I will show you how to do one of the horizontal card pockets really quick. So I took a scrap piece of tape that is three and three four inches long and then it's a half inch. And then I take my card pocket, place it half on so it's around a fourth of an inch overlap. Like that, turn it over and then cover the card pocket but don't cover the fourth inch sticky at the bottom like that and obviously I will trim that so that's your card pocket and you're gonna make one more just like this one for the vertical card pocket I like to place one of the pieces on top of a half inch strip again this is just so I can clear tape the bottom of the card pocket easy. Place it on there. And then fold it over and cover it to the back. And then you're going to do the same thing one more time except don't place any strip on the bottom so just make it a normal card pocket like this so just cover the back of one more of these oh and I totally forgot to tell you the length 
it's two and a half inches long. Just to recap, you should have two horizontal card pockets with little flappies at the bottom. Flappies. And then you should have two vertical card pockets, one with extra at the bottom and one just plain. And the one extra will be at the bottom and this one will be at the top. And this will just allow the card pocket to go all the way down and not stop above the wallet. And then also you can get your ID, which will be, I like to pre-cut mine two and three eighths across and then it's three and five eighths actually this one is three and a half yeah i cut mine three and a half now but i usually cut three and five eighths but this one is three and a half so two and three eighths by three and a half and i forgot again you can also clear tape your pockets now or not clear tape, but trim them, and then clear tape them if that's what you do. And now we will make the hidden that these vertical card pockets will go on top of. To make this hidden pocket, I first took two strips of gray tape, two and a half inches long, and then layered them to be three and three fourth inches long, and you can clear tape this if you want. And then I took three pieces of my pattern tape and then layered it to be uh, three or four inches actually since you need that little uh, flap the ex extra adhesive to fold over so I just turned it over and made it four inches and then also I made sure the seams are going down so that the ID doesn't get stuck so really what you're doing is making the back three and three fourth inches and then the front four inches and that's it so before we put our card pockets on, I realized we have to make another hidden. One will be for the ID, and then one will be for the vertical card pockets, so the one we made before. This one is for the IDs, and then this one will be for the vertical card pockets. So again, you're going to do the exact same thing. Two pieces of gray tape, two and a half inches long, and then three and three fourth inches high, and then this side will be four inches high, and instead of using three strips of my pattern I just used one because this bottom part isn't going to be seen so I just wanted to save some tape so do that and now we will put our cards onto these hidden to place the vertical card pocket on you're gonna take the one with the flap place it right at the bottom And then, of course, you make sure everything is straight. I'm just doing this for a time. And then take your other piece and just place it like where you want to put it. Again, make sure everything is straight. I'm not going to right now. And then let I take a scrap piece of paper or tape just so that pocket stays down. And then... We're going to, you're going to um, trim these sides with your pattern or whatever tape you want. And then do the same for the ID. Accept. So I put my ID on. And then I trim the side. And then I left this here so I can show you. And I'm going to fold it over. Like that. And since I'm going to put my ID on this side. I'm only going to trim this one side, but if you want to put your ID on this side, only trim this side. So don't trim both sides. So that's that. And then for the vertical card pockets, you will be trimming both sides because this will go in the middle of the wallet. And I will come back to show you how to put on the vertical card pockets or the horizontal ones. As you see, I placed everything on the wallet, these two hiddens and then the vertical card pockets. And I placed the first one at a little less than two and a half. And then I just placed this one so it's even. And I probably need to redo that. But yeah, and then I'm going to clear tape the bottom of these two. And then I also clear taped this one before I folded these over. But obviously I didn't clear tape the top one. And next we will do the, whatever it's called. What's it called? Oh, the outer billfold. Wow, brain fart. 
just kidding we have to make the trim on the top of the wallet first and what I actually actually what I like to do is like make pieces so this is one piece and then this is one piece because I didn't feel like trimming over the ID and all that so yeah there will be like a little gap but that doesn't really bother me it's really small and you can clear tape that if you have to if you want to so just measure how long you need so one two three and make a fourth cut a piece that's three and a fourth place it on and trim this side and then since this is rounded and then this part is rounded you only really need to trim this little piece right here so I would cut mm, three fourths of an inch maybe so if that was confusing here's what I meant I just trimmed this part and then I trimmed this part right here so there's like very tiny little gaps and now we will make the outer billfold I took my billfold color Oh, suck. Made it three and three fourth inches again, maybe a little bit taller. And then clear taped it the seam actually. Now flip it over. And then you're gonna layer your outside pattern or color to where it's around half an inch from the bottom, a quarter on the top, and then whatever you want the length to be on the sides. And if you'd like to trim the sides down, you can make it longer so you can trim them. But I just like to make sure there's a half inch at the bottom and a quarter at the top. I got a little too excited when I clear tape. Do you see that? Those little bumps? So annoying. <sighs> Once you place your pattern tape on the outside, you can cut out your boxes and then fold the fourth inch piece over. That's what I did. Now you can put your wallet on. And once you get it to where you like it, you can cut the slits at the bottom. So I think I'm going to cut, mm, I'll cut outward. So I'm going to cut outward here, outward here, outward here, and then outward here. And then fold those up and then you can clear tape the bottom of the billfold. Once you do that, whoa, I don't know what that was. Once you do that. You can fold over the sides. Let's see if I can do this fairly quickly. Ugh. Oh, it's not even. Oh, maybe it is. And that is your wallet. Oh, you can't even see it. Look up. You can do it. You can do it. That's your wallet. Clear tape at the bottom. And you can press it or whatever. Oof. I don't know which way I like to I like to fold it this way, I think. So but I put the ID on the side, so. I'm gonna cut the slits and then put some stuff in the wallet. So I put cards in all of the pockets. So there's two for the ID, and then there's one back here, and then there's one in here. So it holds six, and then plus the ID. I'm not gonna count that as a card, and then I put some bills in here. I don't know how many. And this wallet will be folding this way since the ID is on this side. And this is just so you don't have to open up all of your wallet to get your ID out. You can just open one side and get and then get the ID. And you can have like your easy access card over here or something. And then yeah, it's pretty bulky. It's pretty bulky. But it's got a lot of stuff. But still, if you want to, you can still fold it this way. And yeah. I put this little card, this card a little bit higher just so you can easily get it out. Otherwise, they're both the same height. 
and it's not that hard to get out but you know just a little bit of height variance variation variance height difference but yeah that was the tutorial and hopefully it helped those of you who didn't know how to make a trifold or if you're like me and you just like to watch tutorials when you're bored but yeah that was I it. haven't made a trifold in a long time and this is just my fourth one making since I started taping I don't really like to make them but I actually do like how this one came out except for these little bumps oh my god I was clear taping and my card went along oh my god it's so annoying but yeah that's it hopefully that helped someone and if you like it thanks and if you don't like it I don't care thanks for watching or disliking because you gave me money thank you bye